Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at Pages for Mac. We're going to discuss what Pages is, how you can get it, and go through all of the tools and features that you'll need to get started creating Pages documents. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing is, what is Pages? So Pages is a text editing word processing software. Uh, it comes pre-installed on all new Apple Macs. Um, it's similar to Microsoft Word or other word processing software. So if you've ever used those pieces of software before, Pages will feel very familiar, but it also um, has a lot of its own features as well. So I mentioned that it comes pre-installed on all Macs. Um, if you can't find it, maybe it got deleted for whatever reason, all you need to do is hop over to the App Store, search for Pages, and you can download it for free from there. So once you have Pages and you've opened it up, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. So one great thing about Pages is it has a whole host of different templates that you can use for your documents. So you have your basic blank templates, which we're probably going to hop into in a second. Um, but what it does is kind of take the thinking of formatting your document out uh, and allow you to focus on just adding the content and information that you want. So if you're writing a report, you can go through. If there's a formatted report that you think that looks great, then you can just select that report and edit it. Same with books. You can even do books in landscape, letters, resumes, and the sections go on. So in all likelihood, for whatever project you are going to create in pages, there will be a template that you could use to help you. But what we're going to do is we're going to just create a blank document. So I've double clicked. And once that's loaded, you can see I now have a document on my screen. I've got the flashing cursor in the top left ready for me to start typing and a few menus around my document. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, and just before I do talk about that, you'll see a number of different options and menus around. I'm going to go through in this video essentially the basics that you'll need to get going with Pages. Okay, There's a whole host of different things that Pages can do. And we're not going to go through every single tool, but we're going to go through the key things that you need to know to get started. So the first one I'm going to show you is the view up here in the top left. Um, there are different options of the view that you might want to have. Um, the only one I'm going to highlight at the minute is page thumbnails. So if you have a multi-page document, this is a great way just to be able to navigate. You'll see all the different pages in this pane on the left-hand side. It's an easy way to navigate as opposed to having to just scroll through every single page. Currently, I only have one page, so I'm just going to switch back to my document-only view. This top bar also has a number of other options. So what we'll look at today is you adding some shapes. Um, we're also going to add an image. Um, the other options that are up there allow you to insert a table, a graph, and text boxes as well. So over here on the right hand side, we have our format pane. So this allows us to format the text or images or shapes that we add to our document. We also have a we can flip over this pane to document options, and this allows us to adjust our headers and footers. And also, if we switch over to this section option, we can change the background color. So it's as simple as clicking and then selecting the background color that you want. So it's really quick and easy to get a bit of color added to your document. Okay, so next we're going to look at adding text. That's ultimately what Pages is for. So it's as simple as just starting to type. Essentially, again, if you've used any other uh, piece of software that allows you to type text, it works in exactly the same way. Okay, so once I've gone through um, and added a little bit of text. I 
can now think about, okay, that's great, but this is my heading, but it doesn't really look like a heading at this point in time. So now we've got some text, let's look at how we can edit that text. So the first thing we're gonna do is make this look like a heading. So I'm gonna go back over to the right hand side, I'm gonna click format, and what I'm actually gonna do, so I could go down here, and I could make my text bold, I can underline, I can adjust the size, I can uh, adjust the font. However, there is a slightly simpler way that we can quickly get particularly things like headings formatted. So up here, the very first option says body. What I'm gonna do is select heading. So you can see over here now, my text has the size is adjusted to make it larger uh, for a heading. And it's also been made bold so it stands out as a heading as well. So with these uh, pre-formatted paragraph styles, essentially it allows you to quickly format things like headings, captions, your header and footer, and then just the main body of text that you have as well. So the only thing I'm gonna add to that is I'm gonna add an underline, and I'm quite happy that that looks like the heading of my document. So underneath, I have my regular body text. I'm quite happy for that to stay body. I'm just gonna adjust the font of this one. So I'm just gonna go up and select this. Yep, I'm happy with that. Um, I can adjust the color. So uh, I think I'll go with red for my color on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that text in the middle. So you can see we have all the same options um, that you have in other software, but it's all here ready to format our text. So I'm just gonna put my cursor back over to the left-hand side by clicking the align on the text to the left button. And I'm gonna add three items to my document. So these three items, they look fine, but they probably look better if it was clearer that they're a list. And the way we do that is we highlight our text. Whilst I'm here, I'm gonna change the color of that back to black. And when it says bullets and lists, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna click bullet. So you can now see I now have a bullet point list on my document. I can also use this menu to create a numbered list as well. So, the next thing that you might want to do on your document is add an image. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, but uh, the first is to select this button at the top that kind of looks like a picture, and then you can select what you want to add from here. So we could select photos, and then I can navigate to where it's saved. A quicker way is just simply to find the image that you want to add, and then drag and drop it onto your document. So I've now got my image added over here. I can click and hold and drag that around my document and get it uh, where I want it to sit. So when we're adding an image, if we move over to our format pane, we can see that our options have changed slightly from when we were adding text. So now I have options up here. I have different image styles that will allow me to add things like a small reflection underneath, to add a black border, a white border, or a thick white border, if I want my image to look a little bit more like a photograph. Um, I can also adjust the opacity, so if I want my image to be a little bit see-through, I can do that in here as well. So I now have a heading, I have some colored text, I have a bullet point list, and I have an image. The last thing uh, that we're gonna add to this document is a shape. So we're gonna hit the shape button up the top, uh, and I'm gonna add a circle. So as soon as I hit that shape, it adds a circle to my document. And again, our options over here have adjusted because now we have a shape selected. So I'm gonna make my circle blue. Um, I'm going to add a solid border and I'm going to make that border white. 
So again, nice and easy to add a shape to my document. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to go through is just arranging those visual elements on your document. So I have my circle here, and what I'm going to do is click on Arrange over here in the Format pane. So there's a few different options here. So we have Text Wrap, so that's essentially how our shape interacts with our text. So the minute if I go over here, it will put itself essentially on automatic. Pages will do what it thinks looks best, okay? But you can override that by saying, well, no, actually, I want things to be above or below. I don't want it to wrap around. Um, or you could put it in line, okay? Um, or you can wrap it around permanently. So good options to make sure that your images and your text look the way that you want them to. Similarly, at the minute, my shape is on top of my image, but I might want my image to be on top of my shape. So I can select my shape here, and I can click on this back button. So what that's doing is putting it behind my image, and you have similar arrange options uh, with my image as well. So there you have it. That is how you can create a new pages document, how you can change the background color, how you can add text, how you can add lists, how you can format that text, how you can add images and shapes and arrange them in the way that you would like. So all of those will allow you to create some great pages documents, and I hope that this has been useful. I'll see you in the next video.